Welcome back, everyone, to Resident Evil 2, Leon's B scenario. And I'm in a pretty good mood today. Um, oh, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. I had heard from a couple people, uh, one subscriber in particular that I haven't heard from in quite a while. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I turned the volume down a little bit because I think it was a little too loud uh, in the last uh, two episodes. So now that we have the club key and, and everything, we can go kill some more stuff. And you know, it's funny because somebody sent me a private message saying, Hey Oz, I thought you were cutting down on the cursing. And this, uh... Oh, hello. What now? Super wall, because you never know. Oh, I can't see. This thing sounds like a bazooka. <laughs> Uh, you know, they're like, uh, Oz, I thought you cut down on the cursing. Speaking of which, let's check this key. We haven't checked it yet. It's in the shape of a club. And you know what, guys? I, I really, I try to not, uh, use all this foul language. But sometimes, it, it's like one of those things where you just keep playing a video game. And, uh, it just happens. So this is the Watchman's Report. He tells us about his friend Thomas and how everybody's dead. And, uh... You know what's going on around here. More importantly, there's some magnum bullets here, and his—he's dead. There's also some shotgun shells in the cupboard here, and there's some ink ribbons on the table. So when we've collected all these wonderful goodies, it's always nice to you know hear from subscribers. Uh, some of these people uh, have been with me for a very long time, you know, like maybe one of my uh, first 20, 25 subscribers. So it's always nice uh, to hear back from them that they're, you know, still watching my stuff and everything. So that, that's always a good thing, you know. Um, so as Claire had told us, um, the wreckage has been cleared away from the hallway where that chopper had crashed. But for the time being, we're not going to worry too much about that. I still think the volume may be a little too loud. But whatever, it might just be my headphones. Now, I also will mention, I had mentioned some in the last videos about the way that my setup is in terms of, of it. And I don't know another way to record, aside from using an actual recording program, you know, like some sort of... Um, voice recorder software separate. I don't know another way to record the in-game audio with the actual audio um, and have it all as one track. Some people would say, well, having it as a separate track is better, but I'm not really all that pleased. A picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. Okay, so that's the solution to this puzzle. And for those of you who aren't familiar, everything in this game, the theme is a deck of cards. So let's light the stove over here. And you're going to have numbers under it. If you're familiar with how a deck of cards works, the numbered cards are up to 10. Jack has 11, queen 12, king um, 13, and an ace would technically either be a 1 or a 14, depending on how you want to look at it. So it's a light the queen, the king and then the jack. So that's the solution um, to this puzzle. And the cog falls out, the golden cog. Oh, and our friend is here. Oh, no he's not. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. That's what I've been told. Let's go search his butt. <laughs> he's got some bullets up his ass. <laughs> Alright, anyway. The wheel is missing, yeah, obviously. So we get the golden cog wheel. And we'll just leave that guy on the ground there. Why not, right? You'd think the rocket launcher would just put him into a million pieces, but this particular one, it's not as uber as the one that you end the game with, I guess. See, he busted through the wall, man. He's got power. Oh, he busted through it again, so I gotta put him down again. <laughs> This is so broken. He's he's not difficult to begin with. Get some more shotgun shells. Uh, he only takes like five shotgun bullets. Four magnums or something like that. He's not hard at all. 
We will kill you tonight. Okay, so I'm walking into a wall. Um, let me make a pit stop here because I, I did we get that film developed? I don't think we did. Did I mention the Easter egg in this game that's in the star's office if you search uh, Wesker's desk enough time? I believe it's Wesker's desk. You uh, get a uh, special ending. I mean, you get a photograph of Rebecca Chambers playing basketball. Did I mention that yet? Yes, no, maybe? I don't even know. I, I, I was going to mention it because um, this is actually the second time I had to record this episode. That's why I'm not really sure where I'm going. And you know what, I'm going to take a heel with me, too. <laughs> we got a liquor we got to deal with. Not at this exact moment. We're going to develop this film, a little side quest. But it's a pain in the ass because you got to search the thing like 50 times. And if you do it to the wrong desk, then that's not cool. But I may do that um, as a little added bonus. See if I can speed the emulator up like ridiculous frame rate. Just to speed it up so I can keep searching it faster. And uh, we're getting some really nasty weather here. Which just sets the stage for Resident Evil. Um, you know, I gotta play it when it's all nasty weather out. So you guys will also be happy to know that today, because it's a weekend... Hello. Goodbye. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It looks like you got it right in the head. Um, because it's a weekend, I had some time on my hands. Uh, I actually finished Super Metroid, so I'm going to encode that and get it up on the web uh, the website as fast as possible. Um, because it was already released, so just check the playlist if you guys want to uh, see it. They, I believe, I've updated them all. This is the T103. This is um. That's one of the tyrants. One of them. I believe I said that clearly enough. One tyrant to another. Um, let me think. I guess this way slightly faster. I know there's no enemies this way, so I guess that's the best method. We need to get back upstairs by the chief's um, office there. And I don't remember what's up there. there could, God only knows what could be there. There are some differences between the two second scenarios, obviously, as there are between the first scenarios. Um, but in the first scenario, Leon does not go up here in the chief's office. There's a semi-important item here. Buy liquor. Wow, he, he I barbecued his ass. I hope I don't freak out, cause like I said, I've never, I don't remember this part going to the office. So I hope there's nothing in there, cause I don't have sound. So I mean, Lord only knows. <laughs> in this, I don't have auto aim on, so. There's only one item we need in here, so once I get it, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Where's the sparkly? Oh yeah, we can get his diary. Yeah, he's another one of these manly men that has a diary. This actually explains quite a bit of the storyline, though. But we don't see the woman. You only see her on Claire's scenario. Alright, so we gotta go back this way. Pfft. 
All right, we're running out of time, actually, but. Yeah, that's what we need. We need the crank. The patented Resident Evil crank of Square. Alright, guys, so I'm going to stop this episode here. Thank you for tuning in. This is Resident Evil 2, Leon's B Scenario.